Hey guys, happy Friday evening. So I just wanted to share with you guys week five of the tower growth. And I have seen some expansive growth over this week. Uh, so let me just kind of go through and show you what all has been coming up since it's really been warming up. I've kind of moved some of the plants and the, the uh, tower gardens around a little bit uh, to get more light. Um, so you see the arugulas really started bunching up. Um, over here we have the red lettuce mix. And you see the Thai peppers really coming up now. Um, as well as the Oregon sugar snap peas. One of my absolute favorites. Those are really coming up now. Um, and then we have the patio cucumbers over here, which have been starting to come up. The jalapeno over here is starting to look much better. And he's flowering much, much better now. Um, so we have the Crenshaw melon, which is getting a ton more leaves on it. The seascape strawberry. Now this plant is growing a whole new stock of leaves, as you see in the background. Um, that just came up in the last day or two. Um, I hadn't noticed that before, something I just noticed. Um, but uh, this one hasn't been producing as many strawberries as some of the other ones. Uh, some of the other ones I got some really nice berries off of that I picked. I got a couple other ones that still have some berries on them. Um, this one has got some more berries coming in on it. Um, as you see, that's the bell pepper plant. Um, and the orange bell pepper and that one's taking quite some time for some reason to come up Peppercini plants started to come up um, You see the cilantro is coming up The lemon balm I've really been struggling with uh, to get that one to come up I think it's because the Arizona weather here can't make up its mind um, But you see the basil on that side is coming up the dill really shot up the chives have shot up the Mexican uh, Texas tarragon has came up. Lemon thyme um, has just been growing like crazy. It'll grow, dry out, more grow. Um, and now for the star of the show on this tower is tomato plant number one. This is Mr. Stripey tomato. Uh, just look at this growth. Um, I put the tomato cage up earlier this week so I could kind of keep track of the height of the tomato. And also, so it had uh, some support um, with the ties on there. So, I mean, it's optional. You don't have to use that. You could let it just hang, but I kind of like to keep them straight up um, and keep them pruned. So, but you could see the enormous growth on that already. That's just in a week. So, moving on over to plant number two, or tower number two, excuse me. So, you see the habanero. It's got a bunch of new leaves on it. It's just been growing like crazy. Um, and it's finally starting to get taller. So this is the Jack B. Little Pumpkin. Um, and that one's still just going strong as ever. Uh, the next one is the mustard, or collard greens, excuse me, um, which you see just getting bigger and bigger. And this is the black kale. This is the green bell pepper. So yesterday, let's see if I still see it. I had one of them that was, yeah, so you could see one of them started flowering. Um, and I think that's because, though again, the weather can't make up its mind. Um, it goes hot and cold, hot and cold. Um, one of the things, the other things that I wanted to share with you. Now, I already picked most of the strawberries. I had about eight or nine strawberries this morning. And let me tell you, these are some of the most delicious strawberries that I have ever put in my mouth. I mean, even the seeds look different. There is no way you will find something this delicious at any store. I mean, just look at the shine on that. That is one beautiful strawberry. And I left that there just for the camera so I could do this today um, in the evening. Thai basil's really been shooting up. The marjoram I took out, um, weather related, it was just struggling too bad. Um, it's more of a cooler plant. Um, the strawberry mint, or excuse me, the chocolate mint is doing really, really well. Um, the lemon verbena plant. Now, I actually transplanted this plant. Um, I found it at a nursery, um, and it was about half dead. 
So I took it home, transplanted it, um, and I got a whole new stock and a bunch of new leaves on it um, after the week. And let me tell you, this plant, uh, lemon verbena, it just brightens up the entire tower garden area with the smell of just lemons. Got the rainbow chard. You can see that one's coming up nicely. You got the lemon cucumbers coming up finely. This is shot up this week. Um, considerable growth. Another strawberry plant with more berries coming in on it. Um, what else? Uh, the petite yellow watermelon has vined it nicely. It's got a nice thick vine on it. That one's been coming up every day. And then you have the black creme tomato, which considerable growth again. Um, considering a week's worth of growth where this was last week. So um, also the other one that has really shot up and has flowered, which I'm sure you guys are all looking at, is the, um, this is the spicy globe basil. This is one of my favorite varieties of basil. It's almost got a medicinal taste to it. More like a, a licorice or an anise um, flavor to it. Really, really nice basil. Um, I would not use this in a pesto. I mean, you could, but um, it would definitely change the flavor of your pestos. So, um, so that's kind of it for the week five update. Um, I can't really wait till week six to show you guys more growth um, coming soon because a few of you have asked. When I do go to add water and nutrients into um, the tower garden, I will show you guys how simple and easy it is. It takes maybe three minutes um, to add your water and get everything taken care of. Um, but anyway, see you guys next week. Thanks, bye.